There are countless videos on YouTube philosophizing about ethics or religion. There are over a hundred thousand videos dealing with chemtrails, and yet there are relatively few videos dealing with quantifiable problems and actual solutions, because it's always more fun to philosophize about something in theory than actually deal with something and work towards a solution. In my opinion, modern day slavery is one of the worst human rights violations on earth, and yet almost no one talks about it, and of the people who do talk about it, there are even fewer people who focus on real solutions. And I know you're thinking, what can you do about some problem on the other side of the world? Well, that's why I made this video. There is something that you can do. The first difficulty in dealing with modern day slavery is that when you hear these stories, they're just so unimaginably horrible that there's a tendency to block it out or pretend that it doesn't exist or that it's only a rare instances when this occurs. But in some, at least limited areas of the world, it is an ongoing practice. The second problem, in my opinion, is that the average person doesn't always know how to deal with a localized human rights violation on the other side of the world. And so there's a lot of righteous indignation, protest marches, general education efforts and discussion, but relatively little, in my opinion, practical solutions being implemented on the ground. I believe that if you only gave one dollar to an effective charity, you'd be accomplishing more than 99.9% .9 of the people who come across this issue and become outraged and do nothing. Now perhaps you're saying, well, how can you judge whether a charity is effective or not? And I agree that's a really difficult task, especially in this field. I've talked to numerous charities and NGOs in the anti-slavery movement, and I've even visited a couple overseas. And since I'm always directing these videos, I'm going to give my own personal opinion on the approaches used. You'll find a great number of charities, especially in the developed world, which when you look at their budgets, you'll see a large percentage is spent on salaries of people who go around and educate about slavery. In other words, these people are giving talks or appearing on television, talking about the problem of slavery, and then asking for money so that they can do further education. A second very popular approach is care programs for former victims of slavery or even their children. And I agree this is an extremely valuable social program. Nobody needs assistance as much as former victims of slavery. And if you give money to a charity that engages in care programs, I would just urge you to do your due diligence, see what other people have said about that charity after visiting them in person, look at how effectively they spend the funds. My only other point about care programs is, although they're a wonderful humanitarian effort, they're not technically working to stop slavery, they're dealing with the after effects of slavery. There's one approach that I feel is especially effective at actually eradicating slavery, although relatively few charities and NGOs follow this method, and that is to send local staff into the field to document cases of slavery whenever they occur, and then work with local law enforcement to ensure that action is taken. As you can imagine, this approach is very difficult and dangerous, and perhaps that's why so few charities follow it. However, it does have many advantages. First of all, it develops good data on the ground. Secondly, it actually frees people as opposed to the other methods. And most importantly, by prosecuting traffickers, it ensures that the instances of slavery don't crop up as much in the future in those areas. In my opinion, one particularly effective charity is a group called Freedom Firm. They only have a budget of around $200,000 a year, and yet with that they support a staff of around 20 people, several of whom are foreign nationals. They operate in India, where this problem is perhaps as bad as anywhere else, and a large part of their focus is simply documenting cases of slavery, working with law enforcement to ensure that those people are freed, and then following up with legal action against the traffickers. They also have an aftercare program. I'll put some links to Freedom Firm in the description below if you want to learn more, and I'm sorry if this video sounds like a little bit of a commercial, but I thought that among the other videos detailing modern day slavery, it would be useful to have one that focused more on your options as an individual if you choose to assist with this problem. Also, since I know it's annoying when someone asks you to donate to charity and doesn't donate themselves, I'll match the first few thousand dollars which my subscribers cumulatively donate to Freedom Firm.